Hey there! In this video, we're going to solve this problem. Okay? We're going to make it or convert it into a coefficient for a Fourier trigonometric series. Okay? Um, this is the sec second part of my video. In the previous part, we talked about this one and then the formula of the program used in this video. Okay? So now, we're going to focus on this one. Let's begin. I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of the output of the Fourier calculator and the same as the problem given so oh my god wow a teacher in some university i just forget okay so in my example in this example okay we're going to use pen Okay, first, let's, let's make, define the period here. The period here in this case would be, let's make A is equals to 1. So let's make an assumption like that. And then, this of 0 is equals to, to 2. Okay, if we substitute that, this one would be 1, this one would become 2, this one would be negative 1, this, yeah, this one would be negative 2. Okay, and if you continue the process, this one would be negative 3. Okay, so what is our period? The period is where the whole wave form and then repeat itself. Okay, so in this case, this is the waveform. No, this is not the period. Stop it. Get some help. This one. This one. After this one. I'm just going to, you know. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to up the downward thing. Just here. Okay, and also this one. Basically, I can highlight. Oh no, I'm going to highlight it. Okay, so because this one repeats itself into this one, and also this one. Okay, so that's why this is the um, critical part of our you know, inputting in our calculator. Okay, so now we have the amplitude and then we have now the period okay so the period would be so this one one then two so p is equals to two however we have to divide it so divide it by because p is equals to two l and then if you wanted just to get the l we have to divide it by two Therefore, our L would be 1. Okay. Now, let's have... Let's try to make the function of... Okay? So, the F of X would be... So, it's... 1. Because our amplitude is 1. You know, just like a programmer. Meaning... From 0 to 1, because this one is 1, it has an amplitude of 1. Okay. And then 1. And then 2. You know, this one. Okay. Now, we're going to do some integration. Okay. 
if we do the formula, we do the formula, it will be 1 over 2L. And then, f of x, okay, dx. In this case, it will be 1 over 2L, which is just 2. Okay, and then 1 dx. Okay, now what's the upper and lower boundary? The upper and lower boundary is 0, then 1. We could plus this, but this is just 0. So basically, I'm going to ignore this. So this is an important step. So as you can see, the lower here would be always zero and then the upper would be always one the fx would be one okay so we we already start this out this one okay and we wanted to see it in negative two up to three up to this one okay and then we're just going to set the accuracy there. Okay, so far so good. Okay, maybe you're wondering how about the a sub n? We're just going to follow this formula. The one that I've mentioned, this one. Okay, and just the same format. You have the L, the upper, lower, the function, and then you're just going to add this. In if you're going to solve it in stretch paper. However, in this case, you're just going to um, input this um, important parameter, the upper, which is this one, the lower, the L, which is equals to 1, okay, the magnitude, which is the A is equals to 1, okay, and then the accuracy of 10. Okay, let's try to run it. Why are you running? Why are you running? Okay. So we're expecting to have the same value or the same figure. So as you can see, the figure looks the same. It's just that it it has, you know, a repeating pattern at the top. So let's expect it. Okay. This one. One. Looks great, however, this one, if you wanted to minimize this one, you just have to include it. Okay, so let's make it 200. Great. So as you can see, this is the output of the Fourier series calculator, and the same as the problem. Get till it's cool, just cool into the mouth. Nice. Then, so that's it. That's how. For a series calculator works. Okay, so it can accommodate this kind of input as well as this kind of input. Thank you for listening. And I hope you've learned a lot. If you've learned a lot, please hit the like button so that engineers um, and also students that are studying this can also have this in their studies i've also subscribed for more content is awesome content is on the way bye bye and thank you for watching have fun